Hello everyone, Linico here, back with more Fire Emblem Heroes. Today, we are going into Book 4, Chapter 3, Gulen Combi. If I messed up that one, feel free to correct me. But until then, that's probably what I'm going to be calling it. Um, this is a very FE4 banner, I'll say, that we have... We've been having a little, what was it? Well, not FE4, FE5, right? We had FE5, 46776 in Chapter 2. Now we have Genealogy of the Holy War in Chapter 3. I'm probably wrong, but... <laughs> they're they're kind of one and the same. <laughs> they're both tied to each other heavily. But still, I'll do my due respect. So, the units I have here today are, um, all about speed, really. They're all, like, really fast units I have. And we're gonna be starting off with my slowest one. <laughs> so here we have Tatara's Puppet Delphia. She's plus seven, has three dragon flowers, has running her death tome, drawback glimmer, fort death res three. I free summoned in a dune on her bound hero battle banner, and that was just what I needed for the Delphia build I, need, I wanted to get. We're missing... Uh, one more crucial skill, and that's gonna have to wait until I get a legendary banner shows up that has a particular unit on it. Uh, other than that, she's running Desperation, Drive Speed 2, and Brazen Attack Speed 3. She's gonna be hitting the uh, 42 speed, and maybe and eventually she'll be able to reach 49. I don't like that she's not gonna be that fast. 42 speed isn't exactly enough to double everything under the sun especially in the arena but it's fine she's a bonus unit there and she's been getting some nice bonus stats and i really appreciate it um but as you can tell she's probably going to be my next plus 10 unit which is great because i like delphia and she's a very fun unit next up is late she's a plus hp minus attack which is wonderful um but i did give her three Calvary Flower, so that kind of helps. But here she is running her native Cat Fang, Moonbow, Fury 3, Dull Close, Attack Smoke, and Swift Sparrow. She's going fast, and I thought to myself, 51 speed isn't exactly enough now, is it? Let's make it 55. Um, but as you can tell, I use both Lace and Delthea in my Dark Ether Raids defense map. And they both perform rather well. Lath kind of catches a lot of people off guard because they buff up their unit, they send it out there, then she just says no to their buffs, no to their attack and defense, and then she just, she actually run Heavy Blade and then Luna, and while, yeah, she's minus attack, she still can reach some pretty good attack stats. If you have less than 59 attack with that build that I have on her, on my map, She's gonna get heavy blade, and well, she's too fast for you to not get doubled, unless you're an equally fast unit. And I very much appreciate having her. It's just nice to finally have her. She just showed up one day, and I wasn't too upset. Ugh. Up next is Spring Veronica. Bunny Veronica is here. Plus one, plus speed, plus two dragon flowers, so that she can get that extra point in speed, because why not? And here she is running her Egg Glimmer, Swiss Sparrow 2, Chill Speed 3, Guidance and Defense Tactic. Um, she's the one who's going to be giving people a little bit of buffs here. I think this is the only kind of buff we have. I could have done even Attack Wave on Delthea, but uh, I don't know how I feel about that. Uh, a buff every other turn. And I think one of the characters we'll be going up against negates buffs. I think it's one of the Swordsmen, but eh, it's fine. We have a ranged unit anyway, so we can bully them from a distance. But uh, with this, she gets 8 extra speed, ex extra attack, so that's 52 speed and 57 attack, which is absolutely wonderful. Um, chill speed is to slow down those very fast swordsmen so that Veronica can potentially double them. And guidance is just to help around um, Delthea and our other unit. Who is? Leaf, Prince of Leonster. I considered bringing Selif, 
but since Leaf actually got a refine and I actually went with it, I decided to bring Leaf along and see what he can do with his new refined light brand. I, as I said in the update video, it's it's not exactly what I thought wanted it to be or what I thought it would be, but it's still pretty good. Accelerate special trigger is great. It really helps. Really, it really, seriously does. And the speed and defense, it, it is useful. Because uh, with his Fury, he reaches 54, 42. And then he can reach 46 speed if the opponent is at 100% HP. His other skills being the S Strength, Ignis, Drive Attack 2, and Flashing Blade. He's. The plan is to, of course, outspeed the opponent so that they can, so that Leaf hits them, they hit him, and then he pops an Ignis on them and just destroys them. It's kind of like what he did in the last chapter video I did. It's just on a grander scale. So, with that all being said, let's get into the story. A rousing blast. Interesting. Come on! Oh. Oh, that's right. Um, we were actually... Everyone actually fell asleep to go meet the Fairy King. Not the Fairy King. Elf King. Dream King. Dream King. I'm pretty sure that's what he was called. They need to do the due respect. They look like fairies, but they're not fairies. They're light elves. <sighs> everyone keep calling them fairies is making me call them that. Oh, well. <clears throat> well... Where are we? This is the realm of fantasy, the dream beneath dreams. Ooh. Dream King Freyr lives here. Oh, hi. Do you, do you want to open your eyes, friend? Jeez, look at him. He looks extravagant. Boy, this music. Oh, wow. This is him? King Frayr? King Frayr? Don't tell me he's asleep. That would actually be hilarious. <laughs> he's sleeping! He's sleeping. But that's normal. As the Dream King, he's always sleeping and dreaming. So then, are we to wait for him to wake up? If we want to speak with him, I mean. No need. Oh, okay. No need, young mortal. Well, is, is he talking in his sleep? Within dreams, all things are possible. But you are here with a purpose. Allow me to answer your question. To wake from this dream, you will need this. We need... A horn? It is the Horn Gulen Combi. Its tones, when sounded, will rouse you from your slumber. Picture the world outside the dream and wish to return. Then sound a blast on the horn. Do that, and your time of awakening will be at hand. Then we'll be able to wake up! Let's go already! Wait. Wait, the time and place to sound the horn is neither here nor now. First, Dokulfar have sneaked into Leosifheimer, the realm of dreams. Their presence is corrupting. You must remove them before the, s the horn will sound. The horn will not sound outside the bounds of Leosifheimer either. This is the only way. We can handle that, King Freyr. After all, I'm a Leosifar, so I know my way around Leosifheimer. Boy, this is really getting to be a tongue twister. We'll teach those Dokulfar a lesson for spreading all those terrible nightmares in our home. There are two Dokulfar making their way through Leosifheimer. Peony, can you lead them to them? Thank you, Dream King Freyr. Now, I have one final thing to ask. It's about a friend of ours. Ah, of course. You seek knowledge of Linico's location. 
Unfortunately, that is one thing I do not know. Oh, no. Oh, sad peony. Oh, no. I want to see your smile. Really? How can it be that not even you know, King Frere? Must be because I'm not there or something. Some things are beyond even me. Your friend is one such mystery. <laughs> this little I guess I... Uh, that's one other way to describe me. However, you needn't worry over them. If you can drive out the Dopafar and blow the horn, I believe all of you, including your friend, will return home to the realm of your waking lives. Then there's only one thing to do. That's right. Let's settle things with those Dokafar and go get them out of Leosheimer for good. Good morning. Time to get up. Let's get ready to set out. Hmm. <laughs> Is everyone up? I'm awake. I'm awake. Uh, I suppose this is still a dream, so I'm not truly awake, but, well, getting too literal, Alphonse. Yes, it's complicated, but if we can wake up from this dream, we'll be back in Asker. Hmm, I wonder where we might find this Joko Far. This way? That way, maybe? Oh, I know. Follow me, everyone. I have a feeling the Joko Far this way. But, uh, are you sure? Don't worry, Anna. We can trust her. Do, 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 do. Ah, and so it begins. Um, Fury, Speed Ploy, Blar Raven. And Mr. Shannon. He was not as fast as I thought he would be. He's. Quite a bit slower, but that's fine. His stats still comp his stats are better off that way. And his weapon and skills compensate for that lack of speed that I thought he that he has. I think he reached about fifty with this kit. Five, six. Yeah, fifty with this, and then fifty-six with even speed wave, which is pretty dang nice. Yeah, but he's the one who gets rid of penalties. I believe it's Larcy then who says no to buffs. So what we want to do... We have 38 speed, so what I'm going to do is put Leaf here. Um... Yeah. All right, so okay. now, now what? we go right here, Lee. That's what. Mm, you don't have enough res. Yes. Deploy. Okay. <gasps> Let's put Veronica right there. Got it. We'll leave Leith untransformed. Nice. Catch. This is my fight. <laughs> uh oh. Um. Yes. Nice. you out of there, because that dude is way too dangerous for both you and Leaf. He's gonna say no to his buffs, I believe, if we attack him. Or if we're at 100%, so it doesn't matter. Um, it's an even turn? Yeah, so he'll be at 38, and then she'll speed will activate. Hmm. Okay. You want me to I know what to deal with him. Oh, nice. Wonderful, Leaf. Oh, boy, you're so good. Double him. <laughs> and now that this happens, Leif won't be at full HP because of Fury. Which means Shannon won't get his effects. That still hurts, though. Oh. On my honor. 
<laughs> was that exact damage? I think it was. Nice. Yes, we're right. We're on the right track. Let's keep heading this way. Right behind you. Oh, this is familiar music. Seems this is our only way forward, so we haven't much choice. Oh! The heck? Hi, me! Or not me? Oh, was that Linico? Okay. W wait, where are you? How can we reach you, Linico? Linico! What's wrong, Alphonse? Just now, as he passed through that thicket, I thought... I thought I saw Linico. No, I'm sure of it. Our eyes met, but Linico disappeared. Are you sure our eyes met? They're kind of covered. How strange. Coming to us would normally be the first thing Linico would do. You're right. Nothing makes sense here in this dream realm. That was the first time we've ever seen a portrait of ourselves. I wonder what that means. Maybe it's not actually us. And some faker. They yeah, did have question mark, question mark, question mark after all as the name. And the only time we have that was like with Bruno. And... Hell before hell was revealed to be hell. At least I think it was. Hmm. Well, that's interesting. I'm also not used to. I won't run anymore. Can I say it? Like that's not my skin color at all. <laughs> Okay, I said it during Pokemon, and I'll say it during this game. It's rated T for teen. I can say whatever I want. <laughs> Just a polite individual as well. So I tend to hesitate. Now then, we have Altena. We will soar through the skies together again one day. Just as we used to. What? What are you talking about? Okay. Um, she said some things. I don't understand at all. Daughter of Kwan she was waiting by her family's enemy traveling. Yeah. Oh, look at you. Trying to be amazing and all that. Oh, Leaf will be just fine if I sent him over there. Oh, I see what you want to do. I'll tell you what. Oh, boy. Ew. Oh, I see a Mumbo. Uh -huh. Yeah, but you don't have aerobatics at all. Why did they give you Rash Assault? Is it some sort of reference? Because that's what the t case always tends to be when it comes to, um... FE4 and FE5. They try to... <laughs> they, I think they... There are a lot of times where they try to be, like, super faithful to that game. To those games and like make the units from it good. Hmm. Cause like the FE4 and FE5 characters like some like they were like great characters back then. Whenever they came out at the time of their releases at least. We'll wait. Indeed I do. See that lady over there? Take her out. Draw. Actually, we can just do this in guidance. <laughs> oh, you're about to get it. Yeah. <laughs> okay, let's not. How about a sibling fight? Yeah. Yes. That sounds fun. Come on. What's the plan? Hmm. 
Ooh, that's a lot of pain. But we can take it and dish it out. I won't run anymore. Ooh. Man, look at you and your res. It's so far away from your defense. <laughs> Boom. True damage. It's okay, Leaf. It wasn't your sister. It was a dream thingy that looked like it. Looked like her. So you didn't actually just beat up your sister. Motherly instincts. Who could that be? Who could that be referring to? Oh, hi, Larsa. I know my mother is alive. I won't let anyone say otherwise. And that's all she has to say. It's so weird that they say this. Considering they're, like, just dreams. Wow, you have no skills? Other than just slow plus and restore? Mm-mm-mm. Fireballs. <laughs> on a Pegasus? On a Lance Flyer? You'd be better off doing that on a... What are the dragoon people? Hmm. Shannon is starting to pick up a bit of speed now. Larcy is a problem. Because she is the one who says no to our buffs. So long as we're slower than her. She has 48 speed. Oh no, even if we're at 100% as well. Okay, great, wonderful. Look at that, they just get so much if their foe is at 100%. All Leaf gets is speed and defense plus four. Come on. Oh well. Your command, mm -hmm. do what exactly? Finish her. Dang it. Cheater. We actually outs better, but then Regnal Axtra just kills us on retaliation. And she's not even using Got Wrath. It. She just hits that hard. Hmm. Alright then. Okay. Now what? We could put Leaf over there, but I don't feel like having him deal with Shannon. Oh, don't do that. That won't matter. What's Are we still faster? No, no, we're not. Okay. He actually survives the Regnal Astra. I guess that's where Wrath would come in, huh? Yes. Okay. You want me to kill. Ah, wonderful. He looks so cool when he's injured. That look, yeah. this, that look he gives you. There's no point in harming her. The healer would just heal her. Stinks of iron. And still die on retaliation. Okay. Okay. Now what? I'll do this. Thank you, guidance. Your command. Catch. We're just as fast as you are. Thanks to chill speed. Yesterday, I dealt with a very terrible, terrible... And by terrible, I mean scary. Um, plus 10 Marita. And like a plus 2 New Year's Lathe. And they were very fast. I was using my wind team, which isn't exactly that fast. And I was pretty much checkmated. Because the Marita had distant counter. And could kill anyone on retaliation because she was just that fast. <sighs> now then. Hmm? Play, play, play. Come on, let's play. Let's play hide and seek. We can play here. 
and no one will even know. It's like a secret. No telling any grown-ups. Play, play, play. Come on, let's play. Who is speaking? None shall say. Let's play forever. Hmm. Let's play. Let's, okay, this is getting a little creepy. Okay. A little creepy. All right. The hero inside. What's the plan? Said. I am no hero. I'm just as helpless as anyone else. And that's your introduction to said. <laughs> Damn it. I always have to pick fun at it. Oh boy, that's that's really fast. Okay, they give him he's <laughs> he definitely got a little buffed up. Ooh, three extra speed now. Still gets doubled by Lathe though, so that's good. This is the point. This was the point, guys. Ray Fighter. Speed tactic when you're nowhere near your allies. And you have Rod Circle with Darting Stance. Okay. And Renewal. Let's see. Yes. We can repo both of them away. With Leaf and Late's help. Do what exactly? Let me take out this guy so he doesn't you become a problem. <laughs> and by problem, I mean just getting in the way. I don't think someone like this is a real problem. A way fighter, Rider's Bane is only like a threat. If Late gets to him or something like that. Uh, that being said, uh, I believe in Veronica's ability to tank attacks. Because this dude's rocking 50 speed. And Veronica's not going to be rocking 50 speed. Mm, uh, but we have Delphi. I don't want her to get hurt by, like, this lady right here. Yeah. Oh, um, boy. <clears throat> you got this, Veronica. Look at her go. Jeez. <laughs> That's such a cool animation. Get him. Pulse me. Alright. Yes. Revenge? Yeah. Stinks of iron. Uh, I gotta say, amongst all the units from this banner, we have a forging bond, so of course we have a chance to summon them with summoning tickets. I wouldn't mind getting said, just that my main targets would be um Shannon and Marse. Dang is, I haven't gotten any reds, and in fact, I've just been getting greens. And blue and colorless. Mm -hmm. Honestly, I should have been somebody on the green. Just my history with green recently has not been wonderful. All the crummy three stars and such. Oh boy, this again. Play, play, play. Come on, let's play. Let's play. Dress up. Cute clothes for me, and cute clothes for you. That's how we know it's fair. You are me, and I am you. Hmm? Play, play, play. Come on, let's play! Who are you, and who am I? Who... Who... Am I? Okay.
Hmm. A distant friend. All right. Spring is here. The final chap, final part. Hi, me. Minako! What a relief! We've all been looking everywhere for you. Wait, you're not... Oh? Looking for me, were you? Hmm, of course you were. Oh my. Alright, hi, hi there, Plumeria. Oh, jeez. Her wings. She's a very colorful. And yes, I mean she is colorful. I am Plumeria, the Dokufar of Um <laughs> The Dokufar of Lude Dreams <sighs> Careful everyone You Dokufar Snap forcing people Stop forcing terrible dreams on these people. Free them and return to the free them to return to their waking lives. Oh, sorry, but it's too late for that. They are already too deep in my dream. Enthralled by it, crushed by it. And soon, you all will be as well. I see Shannon did not decide to make a reappearance here. Alright, so we have Plumeria. Lewd dream. Plumeria. Are you serious? Sometimes I forget this actually is indeed a rated T game. A jaded Dokofar from Dokelheimer, the realm of nightmares. She delivers salacious dreams to mortals. Though she would wish to do away with all cloying mortal desires, she cannot. You're telling me she doesn't like what she does? Then why do it? Or maybe she doesn't like particular parts of just mortal desires or something. I have to look up some things to know what these words even mean. Salicious, jaded, cloying. Stop busting out these words that no one really uses. Let's see, Flower of Plenty, grants res plus 3, grants attack slash res plus 3 to analyze within through 5 rows, and 3 columns centered on unit. Okay, so it's not full on cardinal directions, but it is a bigger range than like Plumeria, I mean, uh, Triandra and Peonies flower thingy. Sweet Dream, she too is a senior slash dancer. Grants an action target unit, plus three to target ally for one turn. Inflicts attack speed defense minus four on nearest foes within four spaces of target ally through foes next action. Wonderful! Okay, so that's like Hikami, New Year Gunthra's weapon. Oh, that's gonna be fun to deal with. Oh my goodness, you are slow! Jeez! Oh, but you're packing a lot of heat. Jeez. What is that? Plus four to all of her stats? I maybe three. Forty-one. You're just a res gun, aren't you? Aerobatics, go to flyers. Okay, not really trying to fight us, are you? Well, she's here to hit hard, I guess. Need anything different? Nope. Nope. All right, let's see if we can take you out immediately, and I mean immediately. Nope. Ah, the speed's catching up to us. Alright. We're gonna take out Miss Slow here. Do what exactly? You're gonna have to work on your speed, young Missy. Um, survive this hit. That is the plan. Cause <laughs> you, know, you gotta take it. You want me to kill? Yeah. 
I want to keep everyone together. Oh boy, this is gonna hurt. Ooh! Ooh! That looked like it hurt! I don't know why she just dropped a Big Bang Cannon. Stinks of iron. Jeez. Yeah, that's unfortunate. I figured Lathe would be the only one who could take out Larsa. And now she's too low on HP. I should have thought better than that. I'm smarter than this. Come on, me. Eh. Take that. Oh, we can take you out now. I'll celebrate, not you. Nice. Ow. Don't Yes. No, okay, it was only defense. Alright, we're good. <laughs> this was a lot easier, I have to say, compared to my experience with chapter two. Cause that was horrible for me. Hey, dude, where are you going? Okay. Come here. Ooh. And there we go. All done. So that was Plumeria, and not actually me. Oh, filthy mortals. I suppose I'll have to bring Triange along with me next time. Good luck keeping up when the two of us come together. Be seeing you. The heck? It's just as Alphonse said. No mistake. That was Linico. It's still unclear on what exactly is happening, but this keeps getting stranger and stranger. If only we knew where we could find you, Linico. It seems likely the Dokofar are behind this. Whatever the case. So many people have been trapped in those wicked nightmares. I hope Linico is alright. But we don't need to worry. As long as we do as King Freyr instructed, everything will be fine. We just need to shoo those Dokofar out of Loyosefheimer, and then blow the horn, and then... And then we will all awaken in our world together. And with us, we'll have Linico. Hang on just a little while longer, Linico. That was quite the chapter. Huh. So we have our own little uh, portrait now. So for some reason, we're still listed as question mark, question mark, question mark. So like, like, what was that earlier, though? When Plumeria... Was it Plumeria pretending to beat us at first, but then... Alphonse and Sharina did actually see me. Hmm. I wonder. Peony was talking about everything will be fine so long as we do with King Fair Sun. Hopefully, this isn't like some, uh. You think you're doing the right thing, but you're actually doing the wrong thing situation. Although, that would still be interesting. Hmm. I do wonder. What? is going on with me. I guess we'll just have to wait for the next chapter or two. But, till then, thank you all very much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like and let me know what you think will happen uh, in the next chapter. What did you think of this chapter in particular? We got the meet uh, Plumeria. We got some weird let's play, play, play things going on. Maybe that has something to do with Peony or some other people. Either way, it got a little creepy, but then it got a little mysterious. And, uh, yeah, it'll really will just have to wait. So, yeah, until then, take care, everyone. Good luck on your summons.